God bless everyone. I want to share something to glorify the Lord um, from Blackpool Church. My name is Paul Grant. And I want to share a little bit on our first encounter the touch uh, from God. Uh, when I was 14, I uh, got cancer when a tree hit me in the leg and it caused a lump. And I went for tests. And they found out that it was unoperatable, that this slump was the size of a golf ball. And when I used to walk, it used to crack and make noises. And at the time, my me, me dad was a, a trainee minister or going forward in the ministry. And he was blaming God, why God would do this? Why did God put, put him through this? And my parents and family was crying. People was coming over and visiting. But my grandparents said that to trust in the Lord... So we've been saved 30, 35 years. And they said, put your trust in God. Pray, ask God that God uh, will heal if it's according to God's will. God will heal. And they put it into prayer. And God spoke. God spoke through the interpretation of tongues. And me, uh, one of my grandparents got the uh, interpretation which said, I am the God of all healers. And that night they had the meeting I was unaware of. They was unaware of where I was. And I was in bed and I was woke up out of my sleep. And I felt the presence of the Holy Spirit go through me, through, from the bottom of my feet up to my head. I felt it shake me, it woke me out of my sleep. And I felt the presence of, of God, I felt the presence of the Holy Spirit, a 14 year old. And the next day when I told my family that I said that something happened to me last night, and words can't explain what happened to me, but my mum and dad knew straight away that God had touched me, God had healed, because they had, the same time they had the meeting was the same time this happened to me. And we went back to the hospital and they put all my tests up, showing you the cancer on, me, on the side of my leg, showing you that it was an aggressive cancer, that it was unoperatable. And then they put me tested just done before, upside of the other board, showed you that the cancer was completely disappeared, glory to God. You know, that God did heal. God took away the sickness, that doctors wouldn't believe it, that they took me back down for more tests, they brought me back. Uh, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't believe it. But the test come back again that it was gone. You know, and the doctors was amazed that uh, the cancer had disappeared. The two nurses that was in the room couldn't believe it. The doctor who was in control of, of my case at the time was a backslidden Christian and he was restored to the Lord. And through this, the nurses were saved. My dad led people to the Lord in, uh, in the hospital the, the time I was in there. That uh, I still went for an operation because I wanted to remove the lump, but it was what was in the lump what was the most dangerous thing. But power to God, God healed. And sometimes we get sicknesses and problems and we don't understand why we go through them. But God has a plan. Because at that time, my dad was struggling. My dad didn't know whether the ministry was for him. And from that day on, my dad grew in faith. My mum grew in faith. My dad's now a pastor of a church. Uh, people were saved. My, my mother and father and grandparents led people to the Lord in the hospital. And my, doc and my doctor was brought back to the Lord. You know, God has the glory even out of bad times. God's, God's name is still glorified. God still gets the glory and praise that souls were saved and was healed. But it never left me what God done for me. And up to the age of 16 and 17, I followed the Lord. I went to youth meetings. And then I just hit the 18 mark. And then I began to go into drugs and nightclubs and drink. And that's when my life be began to take a turn. I began to, to be in places where I was taking drugs, and, and I say this to glorify the Lord, to, to taking things that I shouldn't have been taking, in places where I shouldn't have been. But I thank God that four and a half year ago, that God spoke into my heart, and that God said that if I was to return, would you be ready? And I knew that what the Lord had done for me when I was 14, that God healed me, that it never left me. That what God done that, that night when I was in my bed, that God never left I knew, but I left God. I walked away from God. And it's been four and a half years since I've come back to the Lord. And my wife's walking with the Lord. I'm walking with the Lord. We're going on well here in Blackpool Church. Good fellowship, good brothers and sisters. And I want to glorify the Lord tonight that even when you go through sickness and hard times, and even when you drift away, that the Lord can call you back. The Lord can bring you back. But you have to be willing to make that step of faith, make that step, and know that God never leaves you, that you can take a step away from God. But God is always there waiting with his arms open when we come back. And I just want to say that if anyone listening to this, that if you're not saved and you don't know Jesus Christ, the Bible says that you are just a prayer away. That the Bible says if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord, you shall be saved. And tonight, if you're listening to this video, you know, be encouraged. 
for, through sickness, through pain, through suffering, whatever it may be, that God can be glorified in it. That God will always have his way, God will always have his purpose and his plan. But tonight, if you don't know the Lord tonight, surrender to the Lord tonight. Because I want to tell you something, the last four and a half, four and a half years has been the best years of my life. No drugs, no drink, no partying could replace what God has given me today. And I want to glorify the Lord for that today. God bless you all.